So I had to make this wall hung uh, TV unit. So I'll kind of be making this from the inside out. Uh, I'll be starting with an inner box made out of cheaper plywood uh, and then working my way to skinning it from the outside. Um, you'll see why the process kind of has to go like that. So I need to make a rebate on the bottom of the box for the sliding doors. I also wanted to start drilling holes at this point for the cabling. Um, didn't need to do it at that point, but I thought about it, so I did it. Uh, so once everything was ready, I could screw together the, the inner box, which is pretty straightforward. So at this point, I could prime and paint the inside of this box and then get on to making the main divider shelf that runs horizontally and this also had to have a rebate for this sliding door and it needed to be a total of 12 mil deep so I just have two scraps of 6 mil ply there to set my depth and make my second pass And now I can double up the thickness for the uh, middle dividing shelf. And drill the cable hole in the shelf. Next was to make the two vertical dividers. So there's a very small one that goes at the top and a large one that goes in the bottom portion of the cabinet. And I'm using solid 40 by 10 pine for edging. Um, and I can just trim that off afterwards with the hand plane, which I actually found quicker than anything. And I fill all the holes with a two part bog. Then I could add the edging to the divider shelf. And this actually creates the groove um, which the sliding doors will slide in. Off camera I had cut and painted the back panel for the main box so just pin it in place and then screw it on firmly um, and this unit will hang from this back panel that's why it's so thick and for the show faces I'm using a poplar solid poplar plywood uh, which I had left over from another job and this is just enough to skin the outside of this uh, unit with it and I could miter it to go around the, the smaller inner box and this is glued and pinned in place this is the bottom at the moment With the smaller dividers painted, I could put the bigger divider onto the center shelf. and then carry on skinning the outside of the, the main unit.
Now with both of these end panels, I was a bit sloppy cutting my mitres, so they're both short by about 2mm. But luckily it's all being painted. I didn't have enough to cut anymore, so uh, luckily it's being painted and I can bog up the corners. Finding the center in the hole I drilled earlier, I could drill up at a center point and then drill back down with the larger drill bit. Of course the cable ports that you get for these things don't fit the regular drill bit sizes. So I had to enlarge the size by about one and a half mil. And then I could edge the rest of the unit with a solid 40 by 10 pine. I kept the inside of the pine flush, so all I had to do was uh, flush trim the outside. And you can see the state of the mitres there. Good thing for bog, I suppose. And then it was primer and probably five coats of paint on the outside until I was happy with the finish. So I have this plastic track that takes a 6mm panel and it fitted perfectly in the bottom track. Somehow it didn't fit in the top track groove by about one mil, so I had to just squeeze in my router to enlarge that groove and then uh, finish off the part I couldn't get with the router with the chisel. And then it just friction fit in uh, perfectly. And then some 6mm birch ply for the doors. I quite like the look of the birch left natural, but uh, they will be painted. Uh, just before I do that, I need to drill a couple of holes for finger holes. And then I could add my new badges. Uh, I usually have a branding iron. Well, I still use it sometimes, but I quite like these little uh, cast steel badges. So now we're on site and I can work out where to drill the hole or cut the hole for the power point. Uh, and this looks really awful from this side, but actually I was cutting the hole very nicely on <laughs> my side. And I fixed it to the wall with a bunch of 10 gauge 75mm long screws. Take the packers out and fix the power point right directly onto the back panel of the um, TV unit. And that's a wrap. Thanks for watching everyone, hope you liked it.